Hi all guys, at first we want to mention some things. This isn't properly a complete video review. We will analyze shortly the main features of the product, but you will be able to read also a written review in our portal. There you will find a lot of interesting measurements, tests, photos and details. We ask you only, once you have finished watching the video, to comment on both the video and the review, here on our YouTube channel and on the portal, where registration is required. Please also be aware that we are not English. This means that you could find errors in the pronunciation or in the explanation. We apologize for that and we thank you for the interest. Okay, here we are. Today we are looking at the Silverstone RVZ01 cabinet, which is a very nice and very interesting solution from the producer Silverstone. It's a mini ITX cabinet, which has, um, it has a, a PCI Express riser card which is amazing because uh, you can install a dual slot graphic card in a mini ITX solution so we'll check that later uh, right now uh, we are showing you uh, the components that we have uh, installed in the system you will find the compatibility for the um, cooler uh, cooler master mm, cooler master Sadon 120b uh, which is a liquid cpu cooler and i a IO solution. Here you can find <laughs> our uh, technical uh, revisor which is Luna, my cat. Um, we will analyze the Tundra series TD02. Uh, it will be installed the P8Z77i deluxe motherboard from Asus. Uh, you will find the um, installation of the SFX series um, PSU uh, 450 watts, 80 plus gold, which is a very, very nice uh, PSU. Uh, perfect, perfectly compatible with the RVZ01. You will find also the installation of the um, CPU cooler and uh, NT06 uh, Pro, which is a cooler, an IO cooler from Silverstone, uh, which is perfectly compatible with this solution and it's uh, very interesting because uh, you can find a lot of different coolers that unfortunately are not compatible so um, right now uh, we'll proceed with the review so let's analyze the technical specification of the SST RVZ01B about the dimensions we can find that the cabinet uh, uh, if positioned horizontally, uh, it has a, a width of um, 382 millimeters, um, depth of uh, 350 millimeters, and uh, um, a an height of um, uh, 105 millimeters. About the weight, 3.71 uh, kilograms. It has two expansion slots. Uh, the product number is SSD RVZ01B. The color is totally black, as you can see. Um, about the pre disposition of the fans in front of the CPU cooler. So in the uh, in the um, superior part, we can find uh, uh, one uh, 120 per 50 millimeters fan, which is a very nice model. Also because it's um, uh, it has a depth uh, very interesting because it's uh, uh, specific for the uh, the um, this cabinet for low profile coolers, and um, we can find also um, uh, that Silverstone have inserted a um, 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 dust filter which has magnetic um, the magnetic corners uh, we can find also that they included two more in the side which is the the bottom part of the cabinet in you need to check the orientation but uh, uh, we have got also another 120 mm per 15 uh, fan and the disposition for another one. This is just the ventilation holes. These are just the ventilation holes for the PSU, which is not included. Um, about the, we haven't got any fan controller and uh, we have got, uh, uh, we can install one 5.25 inches um, slim DVD uh, bay and um, we can install also one 3.5 inches uh, internal um, HDD and three 2.5 inches uh, SSD or HDD. Um, 
Okay, about the uh, tolerance uh, for the VGA, uh, we are up to um, 33.78 centimeters or 13.3 uh, inches. Uh, about the, the CPU, instead, we can install up to 83 millimeters without the fan. Um, okay. Uh, about the PSU, we uh, we highly suggest you to install uh, the SFX 450 watts SST ST45 SFG, which is uh, the model uh, from Silver Silverstone that you could, you could have seen before. But anyway, it's this model which is fantastic that we have just reviewed some time ago. Um, about the um, the material of the chassis we've got uh, um, steel and but uh, also the frontal part uh, the upper and the lateral part in uh, plastic uh, this is a raven rog logo that you can uh, <coughs> move and uh, uh, like you wish um, we we can find the two usb 3.0 ports um, zero uh, 3.0 zero uh, USB 2.0 ports we can't find any SATA and SD but we can find the power mic audio and the reset button um, what about the compatibility we can find uh, just mini ITX and mini ITX boards okay so um, that's it um, we are going to open this case soon. So, what about the inside? It's um, very simple to open because you just need to um, remove this plate. Mm. So, um, you have just got an opening for uh, mounting holes for a single 120mm fan, which is pre-installed. So, here's the system we have assembled, and it's a very nice and powerful system because it has a 320 gigabytes HDD. Obviously, we can install SDDs or 2.5 inches SDDs or HDD, if I say it correctly, I don't mind. Anyway, uh, this is a Western Digital Caviar Black 2 terabyte 3.5 inches. Uh, HDD, which is a very very nice solution. You can obviously install a uh, glossy raptor from Western Digital, digital for example, uh, 600 uh, gigabytes or even one terabyte model, which is amazing for uh, fast uh, but uh, cheap uh, um, archivation of data. Uh, anyway, this is uh, the the um, the system cabled and. Uh, as you can see, let's try to zoom in so you can check the whole thing. As you can see, we have tried to optimize the design. For example, this is the USB 3.0 cable. You can see the HD uh, audio connector, which isn't installed because it goes right there. And we don't want to, to make too complex operations so we haven't installed it. You can see that we have placed the uh, Y adapter uh, for the fence which is connected to one of the two slots for the fence in this motherboard. Um, Silverstone um, gives you this cable in the bundle so it's a very nice add. We have also installed uh, an adapter, a 30 cm adapter for one fan from Noctua which is also a very nice uh, unit. Um, you can see the uh, cooler installed, but uh, um, this isn't uh, this isn't uh, this isn't intentional because uh, um, we wanted to show you the process uh, um, and the the cabinet without a cooler installed. As you can see, we've got mounting brackets and other things. Going up, we see the SATA connector, uh, the, the power connector for the HDD, the SATA connector, an empty slot for 2.5 inches, uh, SDD or HDD, but uh, this is the placement for the graphic card. Uh, inside this, um, this um, 
this um, section you can install the Slim DVD player. Going down we see that there's a space for the cable routing but uh, uh, inside this uh, um, um, this um, side of the cabinet there's a um, there's a mini plate that uh, it's very useful to install uh, another uh, SDD solution to that 5 inches um, we tried also to to make a good cable management in this part so we um, we um, we suggest you to make this kind of cable routing uh, to use this method because it could be complex to remove this uh, uh, HDD cage if you don't uh, um, make like this um, anyway the cable routing it's good but uh, uh, it, it could have been worse if you could have uh, utilized another um, a motherboard because uh, um, fortunately the 8 pin and the 12 plus 4 pin connectors are here as the SATA cables um, so um, generally uh, they could have been placed like here here or here so this is the perfect placement for the RVZ01 so um, in the review uh, you can find all the informations about the uh, the placement for the uh, VGA card but also the compatibility for the uh, TD02 uh, liquid AHIO uh, cooler um, so um, we we thank you for the this um, the interest for this mini preview and um, we 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 suggest you to check the written review if you have comments please let us know um, some other things what could I tell you yeah this is the placement for the PSU um, um, yeah nothing else thank you oh sorry just a side note um, let's check the conclusions together. The presentation of the Steam box with the operating system Steam has certainly brought a breath of fresh air in the field of personal computers, and we are seeing that several manufacturers are trying to position themselves in this new market niche. Silverstone has been the first company to release a product for the, con the consumer markets, uh, which is undoubtedly an element of pride for this manufacturer. Um, because it can replicate powerful platforms in a very little space in this regard. In fact, we encourage we encourage you to measure the, lat the lateral tolerances of the internal Silverstone, um, which has made a painstaking job in the design of the internals, because it has managed to almost completely eliminate unused space, for example, here, 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 and also here. Um, uh, <clears throat> where am I? Okay, it is exemplary of the potential compatibility with liquid coolers or with uh, heat sinks um, uh, and TZR6 Pro. Certainly, Silverstone playing, is playing at home. Uh, for example, see the design of the 450 watts SFX PSU. But the use of proprietary components is uh, only one element in favor because it is guaranteed to be compatible. For example, the NT06, uh, the uh, SFX PSU, the Razer card, and also the Silverstone DVD Slim player, uh, which is very nice and it's also Blu ray. Um, <coughs> Where am I? I'm sorry, but I'm reading a text. Um, okay, at the structural level, there are no pro problems of note, since we must consider that the assembly of this system should be done by experts, not not novices and beginners. You have to know where to put your hands, to, how to manage components, and eliminate potential compatibility problems with components from other manufacturers in order to avoid malfunctions or failures or of the hardware used. 
why I'm telling this because we have tried to install the thermal right AXP 200 which we reviewed in our uh, site but unfortunately it's not compatible and uh, if try if you try to install it you can you could uh, uh, also damage the uh, some components in the uh, lateral part of the um, the motherboard so we we uh, ask you to please uh, try to be careful while installing your components here um, anyway let's be clear this is a gem one of the best mini ITX enclosures ever designed. The adoption of a PCI Express riser card was the winning, winning element of this model, which moreover ensures the installation of a 3.5 inches HDD and 3.2.5 uh, inches. Even these combined with the presence of a slim optical reader and a custom and very uh, powerful VGA represents the state of the uh, art into the consumer market. Are there alternatives? In addition to the aforementioned steam box still in the design phase, there are variations like for example the ASRock model M8 or the Alienware uh, X51 which has an external power supply, not like the Silverstone one. And, uh, but we must consider that these are pre-assembled computers with a very prohibit prohibitive costs for almost all users. The marketing price will be about 150 uh, euro, including VAT, uh, which is the um, Italian taxation system, from authorized dealers and the availability. Uh, the real availability uh, at the stores it should be by the end of February. These are the informations that we've got, but, but the price could be lower and the availability. Um, sincerely, we we can't say uh, you the um, the real uh, thing right now. So in short, for all those who wanted a PC to the top with the smallest possible footprint and for all those who seek the best solution for LAN parties, ladies and gentlemen, the Raven RVZ01 is for you.